Good morning. And a really quick one this morning because I want to talk about Sean Layden and his departure from PlayStation. And I know a lot of people have talked about this already and I'm a little bit late to the party, but I wanted to speculate on why it happened. And it came out of the blue. We had a tweet from Sony uh, from PlayStation and it said this. It is with great emotion that we announce the Worldwide Studios chairman Sean Layden will be departing SIE. His visionary leadership will be greatly missed. We wish him success in future endeavours and are deeply grateful for his years of service. Thanks for everything, Sean. And it has been years of service. Sean Layden's been with Sony since 1987. He joined as part of its corporate communication department and he went on to become president of Sony Computer Entertainment Japan. That was in 2007. Uh, and then he became a founding member and vice president of Sony Network Entertainment International in 2010. And this is from IGN. In 2014, he succeeded Jack Trenton as president and CEO of Sony Computer Entertainment America. And then just last year, in 2018, he was made chairman of Sony Interactive Entertainment Worldwide Studios, which makes it even more surprising that he's now left and that he's now left so suddenly and it was announced in a tweet. It's like this came out of the blue. Whether it did or not, well, we may learn in due course, but we certainly don't know at this stage. But as I say, PlayStation were right to thank him for his years of service because as IGN also say, you know, a lot of the great games that came out for the PlayStation 4 came out while he was overseeing it. God of War, Spider-Man, Horizon Zero Dawn, you know, on and on it goes. So many great games, so many critically acclaimed games. And that, for me, is where the speculation comes in. Because... Sony have had all these critically acclaimed games and they have had these games go top of the sales charts. They've sold extremely well and made plenty of money for Sony. But what they haven't done is had lots of microtransactions and they haven't had games as service. Now, people like me and hopefully you don't like those models. I certainly don't like the idea of games as service that are set up in such a way that they will make lots of money through microtransactions. I feel that a lot of these games are made to be grindy and less interesting unless you spend money. And I think that's been borne out by a lot of the games we've seen in recent times. And I think a lot of the games that are coming out have been extremely boring from uh, Activision, EA, uh, Ubisoft, you name it. Many, almost all of the AAA companies have produced games that are so shot full of microtransactions and in many cases loot boxes that they become far less interesting to play, certainly from my point of view. And yet they make bucket loads of money. God of War, Spider-Man, Horizon Zero Dawn, those games don't make anywhere near the kind of money that something like FIFA or even Fortnite or Apex Legends from EA. Even something like Gears of War 5, the single player campaign was left alone in many respects. There wasn't microtransactions in the single player, which was a relief. But the multiplayer is absolutely pregnant with them. And we see this time and time again with these games. And the reason we see it is because it makes money. Bucket loads of money. And the kind of games that Sony have been putting out, God of War, Spider-Man, Horizon Zero Dawn, on and on, don't make that sort of money. They simply don't. So, as I say, it is speculation on my part, but I'm wondering if Sean Layden was kind of holding out and didn't want to go down that route. And so I'm wondering if, as we move into the next generation, and we should see this next year, if Sony start to move in that direction and we start to see them repositioning themselves in terms of the games they put out. As I say, 
This is complete speculation. I have no evidence for this, but I just worry. I am extremely concerned. Sony have been one of the few holdouts this generation in terms of the, the quality of the games they've put out and the style of games they've put out. Microsoft, you know, most of their games have microtransactions in some way, shape or form. And I know some Sony games do, but Sony games on the whole tend to be far less inundated with these kinds of microtransactions, these kinds of monetization. Even Nintendo, okay, on the Switch, it's tended to stay away, certainly in their first party, from microtransactions and these monetization methods. But with their online games, and we've seen this most recently with Mario Kart for phones, for, you know, for mobile, it's absolutely chock full of microtransactions. Nintendo have seen that there is money to be made in this area. And Sony? Well, from a business standpoint, they must be under pressure to move in that direction. And so, you know, maybe Layden was holding out. Maybe Sean Layden didn't want to go down that route. And I don't know. It could be completely different, the reason why he's gone. But as I say, I wouldn't be at all surprised to see, as we move into next year, Sony starting to move towards having more games as service, more of the types of games that gamers who've been around for a while are resistant to. And then for me, that will be the kind of last holdout, really. Microsoft's gone down that route. Microsoft practically led us down this route, you know, along with EA and Activision and, and Ubisoft as well, 2K. But Sony, OK, look, you know, they've had all these games on their platform, but their first party has tended to stay away, to stay clear. Not entirely, but they have managed to keep their hands fairly clean. If Sean Layden went because of this reason, and as I say, this is purely speculation on my part, I have no insider information, but if he did go for this reason, and if Sony do start going down this road, and, and like I say, I would not be at all surprised to see them do it. They must be under enormous pressure. They must be. All that money that they're losing out on. If they do go down this route, though, It'll be a sad day for gaming. So, you know, keep your eyes peeled. Look out for the news. See what happens next year. See what happens when we move on to the PS5 and see if things change. Because I wouldn't be at all surprised that that's exactly where we're heading. And if we do, well, I'm going to be extremely sad about it. Sean Layden will be missed, whether this is the reason he went or if there's another. He will be missed. I quite like seeing the guy up on stage. He's uh, an interesting presence. Not quite as interesting as uh, <laughs> Reggie from Nintendo. But uh, he's always been someone worth watching. And so I will miss him. Uh, I hope he does well in whatever he does next. Let's face it, he's not short of a bob or two. But I hope that his departure doesn't mean that we're seeing a change of direction for Sony. I really do. But anyway, that's me done. Uh, you can let me know in the comments whether you think I might have something with this, whether I might be right, or whether you think I'm just pulling nonsense out of my backside, which I may well be doing. You know, I, I'm, I'm the first to hold up my hands and say this is pure speculation. I have no information that would lead me down this path, apart from looking at where everyone else has gone and just following a kind of logical train of thought to think, well, Sony are missing out on a bucket load of money. I hope I'm wrong. I really, really hope I'm wrong. And if you think I'm wrong, as I say, let me know in the comments. And if you like this one, give it a thumbs up and, uh, you know, share it as well. Because let's be honest, YouTube don't push these videos. No one's going to see them if it's not for you guys. You guys are the only ones who can actually share these. Get them out so people can see them. But anyway, that's me done. I'm uh, going to go and grab myself a cup of tea and uh, I'm going to go and pick my kid up soon and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Bye.